I don't think he's going to go through a real... <laughs> Six months after that, we're married. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, because you were moving to California mm -hmm. and I wasn't going to go. Because we loved each other. Right. Mm -hmm. And we still do. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's the right answer. We didn't get married because I was moving. <laughs> well, it helped. I wasn't going. We, bump, we bumped up the time frame because I was moving. Fair enough. That's true. <laughs> Can you smile? Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Erica Lucas and this is Andy. And today we are going to be tackling his closet for donation, sell or trash. On this channel, I am attempting to make life simple by living a minimalist journey and decluttering along the way and sharing it with you. So I decluttered my closet using Unfancy and Project 333 where you go through and you understand your the fabrics that you love, the materials, you do a color palette. I don't think Andy's gonna do all that. Hmm. He's also a lot taller than me. Okay, so that's his closet. That side is my side. That side, that is, side my is my side. That side is her side. Yes. So uh, well, actually mine's like over there and then hers is so is that what you, have you been inside the closet since you've been home? Mm -hmm. So let's go take a look at that because that's not the truth. I know, all. but it's about to be again. Oh, you're saying, okay, I see what you're suggesting. So here's Andy's with, let's say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Let's call it 65 to 70 hangers. All right, I have a lot too, whatever. Oops, these are mine too. Should I start taking stuff out of my closet? Well, that, let's, I, that's what I want to talk about. So I did a more elaborate approach than I think Andy's going to do. So Andy, tell us what, how you're going to do it. I'm going to take all my stuff. I'm going to put it on the bed. I'm going to go through it. I'm going to decide what I want to keep, what I want to get rid of, and what I want to donate. Okay. I'm going to start sorting it as a... Oh, you're going to sort it as you go? I'm going to keep this one. Okay. It's a recent purchase. So you're keeping it because it's a recent purchase, or are you keeping it because you like it? Because I like it and I wear it. This is going to be a winter pile. Okay. Winter keep. Winter keep. I gave that to you when we were dating. Yeah, I know. Stone, my, it's a little bit tighter around my midsection than it used to be. I think it shrank. <laughs> uh, this is actually a shirt that I bought recently because it actually fits. So it's a formal shirt that I will keep. Um, I can get rid of that one. I can get rid of that one. I get rid of that one. Really? Wow. You wear that one all the time. It's a good winner. Yeah, that's check. a great one. I still have the tag. <laughs> I think I got it right before I left on deployment. Okay. Right before I left on deployment. I think so, my mom gave it to you. Yeah, I think you're right. So, that's actually new, and I haven't had a chance to wear it yet. Before, it was purchased right before I deployed, and I didn't go anywhere cold, so I didn't bother taking it. Okay. But it's a nice sweatshirt, so I'm going to keep it. Okay. Over on the community page week and a half ago, I asked you guys to ask us some questions about getting to know Andy and I a little bit better. How have you been adjusting to the new minimalist Erica? And it's wonderful because you're happier mm -hmm. with a less less clutter, um, less anxiety. Mm -hmm. um, there's still rooms that you have anxiety over. I, I just, you're happier and, and less, less anxious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get rid of that. That's a good winner. Is that the sure. one that I love on you? Yeah, it's one of the ones you love. Okay, keep that one. Um, oh. We'll see. Harkens back to a different day. This is a good one. This is what mom gave me, and I like it. I wear it frequently. This one's kind of ratty. Sorry, Jeremy and Jamie. This one's kind of ratty. I, I was pregnant with Brandon. I wore it. I when wore they gave it plenty, so I'm going to donate it. It's got holes in it. We could turn that into a cleaning rag. If it has holes, we're going to donate it. This is a nice new polo, so I'll keep it. And I'll wear it. This is an awesome, awesome winter fleece. Get rid of this one. I don't like that one. You don't like that one. <laughs> I just said that. I just said, I don't like that one. <laughs> this 
This one I like, but it's got like poles in it, so I'm getting rid of it. Yeah, so actually half of these I'm gonna turn into cleaning rags. Um, I've never worn this. Or very rarely wear it. I don't really wear it. I think it. your dad gave you that. Uh, I don't, I don't, that would be nice for winter. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, we're still on the East Coast. All right, I'll give it a shot. We'll pack it away for winter and then these slacks. They don't fit you. Yeah. I need some more slacks. I mean, see, that's the great these thing are about good jeans. exercise. It's a little small. I got a lot of compliments wearing that shirt. Mm -hmm. I wear it to beer festivals. <laughs> uh huh. This one, I bought it on the previous deployment in Portugal, but it shrank like crazy. I can see that. It's a bummer. I liked it. This is a good shirt. Do you know the 2020 rule? Of course I know the 2020 no, rule. Don't. Can you refresh my memory? The 2020 rule states that if you can replace it in 20 minutes for $20 or oh, less. Yeah, you told me that one. And you're not particularly attached to it, that it could go in your donate pile or your rag pile. You have a lot of winter. Just cleaning winter out of your closet's gonna free it up. You have a lot of like sports and beer shirts. <laughs> I don't think that this... is a yellowed shirt. Yeah, and I don't think it fits anyway. <laughs> I bought you that to go with that sweater. Oh, yeah. When so, we were dating. Yeah. Ten years ago. This? I think it was probably last time yeah, you wore it. I, I basically have one. Like you have this. a lot it's of way these. Better. Yeah. yeah. The one, this one right here. This one is a uniform item. Yeah. Yeah, I got oh. issued that, and it's awesome. Who is a more ruthless declutterer? What do you think? I say you, because you just plowed through 80% of your closet in like 15 okay. minutes. And that took me months to figure out. And maybe that's just the male, female perspective of... Okay. 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 Maybe. Next question. Okay. Next question. Have I trashed anything that annoyed you or that you noticed and you wish I hadn't have trashed? No, because you're pretty respectful of my things. Mm-hmm. And anything um, that was major, I asked you before I got rid of. You kept the kids, so that's good. Well. The broom. Where's the broom? Ranger. Ranger ate it. Yeah, that was the dog taking the broom. See him go? Look at him go. Ooh. I forgot I had this. It still has, like, the plastic part of the tag. Yeah, I think my dad sent me that. Yeah. Yeah. You're keeping that, right? Yeah. You don't have a long sleeve NC State. I don't need a long sleeve NC State. Okay. Another long sleeve Broncos. This is new one. I really like. It looks good on you. I like that one. Thanks. Khakis. I'll be wearing those a lot soon. Oh, my other set of khakis. I'll be wearing those a lot soon. It's nice to have two sets. Where are we moving to? I haven't said that yet. Where are we moving to? Hey, we're moving to Annapolis. <laughs> she knew. <laughs> And he's going to be working at the Naval Academy. Yeah. After the PCS and we're in, in the house and we get everything unpacked and we're there for a while mm -hmm. and I'm home every single night, not leaving, uh, <laughs> it's going to be a huge difference. It is. Um, it, it won't be the end game, obviously, because we're renting. Right. Um, once we've bought a house where I'm going to stay for with you for 20 years um, or more. When that when we when we have our own house that we bought, that's when I think I can truly feel home. So, I mean, home. I mean, when we rent and we're together, it's home. But there's still the sense of of transience. I don't mm -hmm. know if that's the right word mm -hmm. for it or not. But displacement. But I know that that I'll be leaving there in just a couple of years, unless unless I get a job there and, and retire there. That's uh, how I felt in Virginia too, because mm -hmm. we bounced around in Virginia. Mm -hmm. That I was always displaced and mm -hmm. it never felt settled. Um, I would have three deployments. Later, I would have been happy. <laughs> I would have been happy retiring there. Yeah, but yeah, right here we are. So, do you think it's going to be you being out of the Navy before you can say like, "I feel home"? Probably. Okay. Probably potentially take another set of orders and get deployed again. Um, if we're in the house and we know it's my last tour and we know we're retiring there, well, then that, that's home. It's right. going to be home. So your point is the next home we're renting. And it's still not going to feel like home. 
it'll feel like a home. But not. But it won't feel like Root's home. Yeah. Yeah. That, I felt that here. Yeah. Which is why this is hard for me. Because mm -hmm. I feel root rooted yeah. here very much. Yeah. Very much. So this is hard move for me. But home, like mm -hmm. your point is, wasn't here in yeah. Pennsylvania. It was... Yeah. That whole time when I was not deployed, I was living on the ship during the week and living here on the weekends. Yeah, and you, well, because you were supposed to be done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Best laid plans. Yep. Like some freedom in your closet there. This is an okay shirt, but. Okay. Oh, that's winter. Sorry, no. you know, even warm pants. Okay. No. So what, they're like spring fall pants? They're donut Okay. All right. More, more donate khakis, right. donate cargo pants. These are really good heavy duty winter pants. Okay. Um, yeah. Do you have a suit or no? We need to get you a suit. Yeah. Hangover? I did that. I do it backwards, don't I? I don't know. <laughs> I just put them on. I pay no mind to how I'm hanging, but you like all your things facing that way, huh? That's a reconsider. So that's your key, dude. Plus my pants. Right. What are we gonna do? That's so crazy. Because around here, I, there's just, I just need, only need a handful of t-shirts. Well, that's keep summer. Anyway, keep yeah. summer. How did we meet? We met on eHarmony. While I was deployed, imagine that. Uh huh. Well, we met before that, but we never met in person. No, we didn't. We, well, we met on eHarmony before that, several months before that. Right. And then that conversation just kind of dropped off. And then while I was deployed, we started talking some more again. And then while I was home on R&R &R during that deployment, we met in person for the first time. Yeah, so that, that initial drop off where we like just emailed back and forth first mm -hmm. and then we just sort of stopped communicating. Mm -hmm. yep. We I was in Pennsylvania and he was in Virginia and he hadn't deployed yet and we were both like, Ah, eh, that's too far yeah. <laughs> to keep talking. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know, how did we end up I, I was at sea for a while during this deployment and then I came back to Bahrain for a little while. Yeah, did I email we, you? I don't remember, but we somehow we started talking again yeah. via email and then by phone. Yep, and then Skype. Yep. And you were deployed that whole time. We still hadn't met in person. July 2008, when we first connected online. Mm -hmm. And then October 2009, so a year and some months later, when we actually met in person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Six months after that, we're married. Period. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know where to buy an awesome house with a little bit of land and a pool for cheap around Philly? Philly? Is that still the end game? Sure. We have major life decision conversations or on my channel. Colorado or Montana? I would go for Montana. Montana. Bozeman area. I would love Montana. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you for watching. Here's the latest video. Right on his face.